Hello, probably many of you have asked themselves, what is SOLIDWORKS? What I can use SOLIDWORKS for? What is actually a CAD software? Uh, what should I do to start using this software? How to avoid some common mistakes? And where actually I have to start? In this video, I will try to answer all these questions and to help you start using SOLIDWORKS or any CAD software that you wish, but I will talk here particularly for SOLIDWORKS. So, actually, what is a CAD software? CAD stays for Computer Aided Design. This means you use the help of computer to design something. What you can design in, in, on a computer? Well, actually everything. Everything that you see around yourself. Your, my web camera, for example, or, or this keyboard, or this sharpener, USB drive, chair, cabinet, handles, vases, cups, everything that we buy, it was designed by somebody in some kind of software. So CAD software is a software that help us to design a product or a part that we can later produce. So next, probably you will question yourself, why should I use a 3D CAD software when most of the time I will make 2D drawings, for example? Now, let me tell you something. Just think about this now. Every single drawing is a 2D representation of a 3D model. Yes, that's correct. Every single drawing. So I made a small test for you and I made a simple part first as a 3D file, which then I convert to a drawing. And then I try to make exactly the same part only by making it as a 2D drawing. Okay, I'm pretty good with SOLIDWORKS, but even if you're not good as me, you will make this 3D really fast. And it took me less than four minutes. Here it is, less than four minutes to make it as a 3D file, save it, import it in a drawing sheet and make it as a drawing. And we have also isometric view of our part. Then I started from scratch, just making the 2D drawing of the same part. And it took me more than 12 minutes. This is more than three times more. The more complex one object is, the more time you will need to make a two dimensional drawing of it because you have to define every single line, every single angle. While when you're making a 3D file, you have to define way less things and it's happening much faster. After that, all you have to do is just to add the sizes or the section views or whatever you need for your drawing. So that's why you better learn to use a 3D CAD software because it will save you a lot of time. Before you start making any file, you should think about the production process that you will use or the materials that you will use. Will it be a plastic uh, product or a metal product? Will it be milled, turned, cast, injection mold, bent? So when you think first for your production process, you will find the best way to start your 3D file because you will think about the steps that you have in your production and you will represent these steps in your file. This will make first your file much better. This will make your file easier to modify. And this will make your model easier to produce because you can explain exactly what you want, where, with what you, the manufacturer or the machine shop should be careful. And you will be at the end phase, which is produ produce much, much faster when you think for production process 
in advance. Not to mention that each production process has its specifics. So if you're going for injection molded plastic, you should try to make as uh, similar as possible all thicknesses in this, inside this product. You should consider the casting angle and you should implement all of this in your design. Once you have done the design and you have to modify it, it if it's a complex one, it will be much harder than if you think in advance for your production process. If you make it like machined, then you can have a straight side, but you should consider which machine you will use. Will you use a 5-axis CNC or 3-axis CNC? What kind of tools you will use? With uh, CNC milled parts, you should be careful because you ha cannot have sharp internal edges and many different things like this. So before you start, first, think about the production process of your model. The next thing that a lot of people do when they start with CAD models is they struggle to, find, to, to model something amazing, something fancy. You want to do a car, you want to do a boat, you want to do a motorcycle, plane. The truth is, it's hard to do such things and it will not bring you big value. Your future employer don't care if you can make a surface car. Your employer does care if you can take his project, model it fast and accurate, make the drawings and push it inside the production. He don't care how fancy ship you can do because this fancy surface ship, it's actually useless. Yes, it's cool but it's useless and you will not learn much from that. You will learn how to work with surfaces. Yes, surfaces are also important to learn, but the basics of the CAD software are in the features, not in the surface. Surface modeling is addition so you can make more complex models, but they're not the base of your modeling. The base of your modeling are the features, the boss extrude, revolve, swap, these are the base operators which you should master first. So don't jump for these fancy projects because at some point you will be probably frustrated, you cannot do it and you will quit. No, start with something simple. Make a glass or a plate or, or a mouse. Okay, mouse is complex, there you need a surface. But start with something simple and just practice. Take anything around you and try to model it. Start with something simple, then make it harder and harder and harder. And this is the way you learn. A lot of people are looking for tutorials how to take a certifications exam. Certifications exam, they're based on that, of your knowledge of this software and what you can do with it. And this knowledge is not built when you are making a surface car. This knowledge is built when you make simple objects and you start to make harder and harder and harder, one step after another. So there is no minor project. Every project is amazing, especially when you do your first project, you will see how amazing it is to hold your prototype or to see, see it. I have done very uh, interested pro interesting projects in my life, but I have done also things as simple as front and back plate for different uh, tools and equipment. And it's also cool, you know, because before this front plate was manufactured, it was actually not existing. So simple, but still your design and your project and this is enough to make it amazing. Take your solid works and start practicing because this is the way to great models and amazing stuff. Don't forget to like the video and if you want more such content subscribe for the channel. Bye!